Hi guys, it's Sebastian from Noble Frugal Studios. Today I'm going to come at you guys with another kind of quick tutorial um, on how to use effects in OpenTunes. So what I have um, for you guys prepared here is a uh, two layers. Uh, one is just like this guy, uh, is kind of <laughs> silly looking guy with the very, very, uh, very, you know, sharp hand. If I want, I want to recommend getting a lotion from this guy, but you know, he's, his hands are very sharp. Uh, he seems like they've sort of dried out. So, um, I have two layers, one with a hand on it, as you guys can see, and then one with the guy on it. So, um, what I want to try to do is add a blur to this guy, because I really want to accentuate that hand. And another thing I'm going to go over today is the, just for a little bit of a, um, just for a little bit of, you know, future reference, there is a tool called the, I don't know what it's called, let me see if I get the name here. Come on, don't be shy. Okay, the paintbrush tool. Now the paintbrush tool is actually very, very cool. So you can select whether you wanna um, color lines or areas or areas and lines. And let me just show you what that does. So if you, oh, let me not do that. Let me create a new color. So to, to create a new color, you do new style. Size a little bit. And then if you do line mode, then you can make all these lines automatically yellow, which is actually very cool. And if you do areas mode, this is my favorite one, you can actually just paint under the lines without having to make another layer. So you guys can do, you You don't guys don't have to use like the fill tool to color and stuff like that. And of course lines and areas will just kind of cover your picture. So you guys don't have to use like another layer to, um, you know, do your coloring in with if you guys don't want to use the paint bucket, which is really, really actually very cool. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to color him in a little bit. And um, let's see. All right, let's make him blue. And then we'll we'll give him we'll give him uh let's give him yellow hair why not no let's not turn that to yellow let's make him blue I want to be very blue like a like a very neon razor crack and blue give him yellow hair why not you know put him on a gogurt commercial <laughs> um and his hand is going to be I keep changing the color um it's a bad habit of mine um and his hand is going to be a dark purple all right so again um do not get your this is the opacity thing right here guys just so you know so you can change how um you know your colors um how light they are so if you guys want to do shading i will do it in another video but you know that's how it works um let's make another one let's just call this guy like a make his sweater green so this guy isn't the best stylist um you know he painted his face blue. His hair was already it was already it was already yellow. It's just very vibrant yellow. Okay, so now we got our guy here. Actually, I did do, do something wrong. I'm not supposed to color this on this layer. I'm supposed to. Oh, I don't think you can erase the paint bucket. Um. Uh, oh no, here we go. All you gotta do to erase the paint bucket, guys, is um go to z something with zero opacity and then just you know. Um. So you got you can't actually erase it with the erase tool. Remember, you guys have to go to something with zero opacity, so you can't see it, and then just erase. So we're actually going to color on this layer. I actually didn't make that mistake. So um, uh, let's go with the paintbrush, and we'll make his hand. We'll make it a dark red. Why not? Actually, I like I like a. Um, we'll make it a dark purple. Why not? And then we'll make another dark purple so we can actually no, we can just color it in like this if we want to. But then it'll be to the lines. So let's make the lines black, and then this dark purple. And we'll use the paintbrush tool to color it in. And this is actually one of my favorite tools because it just it works so well. And if you guys don't want to do use the film tool, if you guys just want to experiment with some colors without having to like make every line perfect so it fills in the entire thing, it's really really helpful. So now that we got our dude, <laughs> um, <clears throat> what we can do now is that we can go to the animation tab. Um, and this is where your FX schematic will be. So basically, you have your column one and column two right here, the X sheet and then the output. Now, if you guys want to, if you guys have something else on this, then you click right here. That, if you guys have this on your screen, then you, all you gotta do is come over to the to the um, bottom right right here and click this, and then you'll have what I'm talking about. So my column one is my uh, body. So let me actually go and name that because naming columns is extremely important. So we'll do body, and also when you name a column, it sort of makes it invisible when you render it. So make sure you just click the eye thing right there, and then if you go over here, we'll name it hand. Okay. So um, what we want to do is add a blur on this hand, correct? So we go to hand, right? And then we, um, we're going to right click and do insert effects. And then we'll do blur and just a normal blur. Okay. So when we have this blur, right? And we'll go to our rendering tab. This thing I right here is the rendering tab. And as you can see, the hand's blurred out, which is actually the opposite thing I actually wanted to do. Um, I didn't make a mistake there. So um, let me go to the body. I said bossy. <laughs> um, I didn't realize I typed that. We'll go to blur. 
and then as you can see the hand is now in focus and a couple of these lines are on the hand so we can just go in and erase those if you guys um, if you guys are um, I'm sort of trying to be quick with this tutorial but yeah if you guys don't want that then you just go in and erase that and then you achieve the true effect there we go so now we have um, our perfect uh, blur but if you guys want to edit the blur then you go to you go to blur off from bossy and you guys can edit the value of the blur which is really really helpful so let's put it down to four because I think that's a little too much okay there we go now the hands just in focus but we can also see the <laughs> our blue dude so that's basically how I use effects and one more effect I want to do I do want to show you is um, a helpful one that's for uh, lighting it's called the glow I believe so say we want to add a highlight to this guy's eye we would add a new layer we would take our paintbrush and uh, we would make a white color um, let's add a new layer first okay so let's uh, erase that um, let's get out of that render view because it does lag a little bit so let's go over here um, we'll add a white color new style and we'll make it white I don't use the zero style because I don't know sometimes it's white sometimes it isn't you know and then we'll make a white circle right here for the highlight in his eye and we'll do it on the other one too now say we don't want this just to be a highlight we want this to be like really really like you know we're really selling to that this there's a light coming from around uh, around it seems like this direction okay so now we go to animation right and we're going to go our column 3 which I didn't name and I should let's go back so we'll name it um, lights and then we will okay we'll not do that <laughs> um, we'll go to back to animation um, we'll click on light we'll click on light and then we'll go down to light and then glow oh not that one my bad um, my pen was very close to the tablet right there um, we'll go to light and then uh, glow so now as you can see there's a little bit of a blur on it too but in the rendering there's sort of a glow so now we can edit that um, so we can actually set the source as this also so that sort of makes it glow a little more if you put this as the source then it'll make the sort of glow um, it'll make the uh, glow a little more um, I'm not exactly sure the reason why but um that's how it works if you set the source to something else it might um, do so and have another effect I'm not exactly too sure on that so now if you go to blur we just want to increase it a little bit because I like the blur on this Let's see if that works okay so we got we got a, as you can see it's a little bit of shiny but I want the blur to be really really I really want it to you know stand out so let's put it on nine okay so now we can do our fade I believe is that, is that what that does sort of um, I don't really know what a lot of these settings do there's a little more down here isn't there no okay so you can change the color of the light which is sort of which is really cool let's try uh, bring up one of these things change it to red so I don't know exactly know if that works maybe it makes the actual physical light red which is actually kinda dope so uh, that's the, how you use the effect schematic guys um, there are tons of other effects that are out there such as things for like masking But I will go that over that in other videos and there's actually a really great video on masking that um uh, A guy by miss the name of mr. Dan insane does so I will leave a link to that in the description just so you guys so you guys can um Check it out. It's a very nice tutorial It really really helps you with the whole masking thing and making shading and I will do a video on shading because I it's one of my favorite parts of the animation process even though it probably takes forever um, even it does take forever. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.